On the Lonely Rim, on an even lonelier planet, a single chef ended the entire world. But now, through the power of, of love and friendship, he's brought about a whole new world. Okay, so maybe he sent half a dozen people to go set up a mining camp. The point is, it is the beginning of a whole new era. The beginning of something great. And now we've got the ball rolling. The people can help themselves. We can share this technology with our other friends, the other surviving factions out there in the world. They can manufacture their own cures, their own cure lace meals, and they can start not only saving their own people, but bringing this planet back to a level of safety and security and happiness. Some people have asked, what about the other mushroom settlements? What about uh, some sort of big crusade against the mushroom people going and curing them, trying to find a way to, to, to fix some of the biomes? And I think the answer to that is very simple. Just because the story of some of our colonists are going to end over the next couple of days when, in theory, we take the spaceship to safety doesn't mean that it's the end of the story for Mushroom Planet. Another day will come where we drop in and see what's happening. We see whether or not the cure has worked. We see how society is rebuilding and what other things have popped up in the, in the meantime. Today's goal may be the simplest yet. We go to the landing ship and we lock it down. We build turrets everywhere. We build thick old walls and IEDs and whatever it's going to take to keep this ship healthy and safe, ready to launch into space. I'm not sure quite yet who is going to be getting on that ship to fly off into space to go start a new life, to get away from Mushroom Planet. Some of them might not think that their work is done here. Some of them might want to stay behind, but I think at the very minimum, I would like to help with a little bit of suspension of disbelief here. Spacer Blueprints. We're going to write down the blueprint for the cure, and we are going to blast it to every single faction on the face of the planet so they can start making the cure for themselves. So send them some low-dose cure meals. We'll send them the nullifier, so that gives them all the information they could ever possibly need to, to, to learn how to produce the cure themselves. Hey, and speaking of people that we're saving from the mushroom disease, that is another person fixed and all of their xenotypes back to normal. Uh, that sounds like gunfire. Hello? Anybody there? I mean, more people to cure is, is absolutely fine. Hello? How you doing? This is exactly the problem. They're spawning in and then they're spreading out and that's what's, uh, that's what's giving these kind of pathetic mini turrets chance to actually kill some of them. There was me thinking they wouldn't be able to do much damage. Okay, there is a tank there. I'd like to see them try and stop that one. We might want to draft up bring the dark guns and see if we can see if we can take a few of them out because that is quite close to the base oh i wonder if where they're also punching the turrets and blowing them up that's going to be taking out quite a lot as well oh shit come on bring that tank down bring that tank down come on hit it with the dark gun what's taking so long they automatically swapped away why did they run out of ammo no they just swapped away hey i didn't give you those for fun oh my god oh hello I thought that was something monstrous then. Look at that. We've got them. We've got them. Okay, cure the tank. It's just from the fungoid hive. have decided to steal what they can and leave. Uh, it doesn't really matter because we managed to grab another one there. Go, go, go. Go, get them. Tend as many people as possible. There's still gunfire coming from somewhere. Whoa, they got deep in over here. Oh, shit. How did they get through? They punched through there. Okay. Bro, I, I don't know how you got there. Well, obviously, you can go through the fucking door. How did you get over there? What the fuck? How did they get through? No way. What the hell? Hey, I'd like a fucking refund on that one. How did you get through? That's that's fine. Embrasure walls are all solid. What are you talking about? They fucking teleport? Ridiculous. Oh, my God. What the? Oh. Friendlies. Allied town guard of freed ancient soldiers. Why are there so many naked people? What's happening? They've come to help. They've come to help. I still don't understand how they got through. They were here, smashed the turrets, and then somehow got into here. It doesn't make any sense because, look, there are no holes in the walls. And that's what they smashed afterwards. Did someone open the gate for them? I wonder if... Oh, shit. I bet they were chasing the new person. The person had the gate open as they were following through. It's the only thing that makes sense. Let's go ahead and look for survivors now. We've already captured bloody loads. I think we're already running the prison quite close to capacity, but that's okay. I mean, like, conceptually close to capacity. Don't really want to go too crazy with it and have more people. Let's get you captured as well. We managed to get 10 of them. Oh, God, 11 when we dropped that last one off with Savannah. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, are you cured? You're already cured, so we should probably get you out of there. Let's start throwing a few low-dose meals around. Let's go get more plastic, you know? I think the tank might be a good use case for a full cure. Because what have they got? They've got seven genes per line, so 32 total. I think... Maybe that will take too long with the meals. I also don't like the idea of having an enormous tank just kind of sat around in the prison. You know what? For science, let's see how it goes. It might be a horrible idea. It might backfire. It might not work at all, but let's give it a go. I mean, at the very minimum, if we neutralize the aggression spores, we probably won't have much to worry about. 
I don't think they can prison break, given that they... Oh, no, these ones can, because, of course, they're part of a part of a hostile faction, but I don't think the wild men ever will. Right at the end of the last episode, I took all the people that we've cured so far, and I sent them to set up a mining outpost, because I thought, okay, if we can get Plasteel from them, we can use that to make more cures, and then more cures, more people, faster Plasteel, blah, 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 blah. Turns out all they can mine is sandstone, which is not very useful. So I think instead, let's turn them into a defensive outpost. These can reduce the raid sizes that we have to fight in the city. More importantly, we can call them in, I think, to... Oh, shit, look at that. That's cool. Oh, and that protects that entire area. Damn, that's cool. Okay. And then we can call them in. Deploy the garrison of this outpost in drop pods to assist one of your combat engagements. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how that will work with ammo. It probably won't work with ammo. So I think we'll rely on that uh, passive effect more than anything else. Winning a small skirmish at an outpost can significantly diminish the size of an enemy raid on the main colony. That's fine. Really, it's for, uh, you know, it's just for law reasons. To make things feel a bit more safe on this planet. And I like that idea. So, speaking of which, Timon and Banana are going to head over to the ship. Oh. Oh, we can't land there. Oh, oh that's not a problem. We'll just caravan over. Probably wouldn't take much more time to caravan over anyway, so that's not a big deal. When we settle it, though, I presume we'll be able to send over send over the, the ship with, with reinforcements and supplies and whatever else we need over there. Hey, man, let's grab some meals. Let's go over there solo just so that we can try and figure out what the hell's going on then, huh? So we could not settle it permanently until we're really ready. We'd have to keep someone always on the tar, though. We wouldn't be able to leave it empty like we have done in the past. 0.3 days is barely any quicker than taking, barely any slower than taking the helicopter. Ship found. Timon, Timon, Timon. Hello. You've reached the coordinates sent by Charles and Whitestone and discovered the hidden starship. I don't think I've done this in probably, oh, like four years. So this will be a nice, refreshing experience. Oh, hello there. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Welcome to the madness that is the real ruins, I suppose. Um, holy shit, look at all the steel. Bruh, d what? Oh my god, I can't even abandon the map. I'm like borderline, should we just reload and... Because this is so silly. This is very silly, though. Man, Timon, this is so silly, little Timon. This was supposed to be a... Difficult ending. We found the most ridiculous shit we've ever seen. Granite blocks. I wonder if it's because uh, someone had a ship. I don't know how it works. I was going to say maybe maybe this is like someone else's ship that they exported, hence why there's so much stuff. But I guess that wouldn't be the case. I think it's just plonked the ship down on a random map. Broadcast station engine transmitter. This is insane. It was madness. I mean, luckily the game is kind of self-correcting and that if we claim this map with all of its... With all of its 5,000 meat and infinite steel, however much bloody steel is on this map, that's going to blow up our colony wealth. And then the raiders that come to stop the spaceship are going to be more than we could ever possibly deal with. Kept the colony wealth relatively under control. I mean, 437,000 is still a lot. That's still a massive amount of colony wealth. That's where we looted all those super nanites right there and then immediately dumped them all. Shit. Ah. Uh, I mean, as long as this doesn't contribute to colony wealth, we can roll with this. We can do it. I just don't want to build my own ship. I feel like it's a little bit too far. Oh, God. It counts as you having settled it. When you go to the ship, like, it's automatically converted it into a settlement. I didn't hit the settle button. Ah, right. So give it a couple of days and our colony wealth is going to skyrocket then. I think the silver lining is that we can build whatever the hell we need to defend the ship, which won't be a massive amount, admittedly. Then we take the rest of it and we blast it off to Tim and friends. So they get something out of this too. Oh, shit. There's a supercar. <laughs> um, it can be restored into a lightning. Oh, no. ka -chow. Okay, hold on. Hold on, though. Let's just have a chat about this first. Oh, it's not that expensive. We've certainly got everything we would need to get that going. Why did you bring that with you? What were you thinking? God, I think the plan is very simple, isn't it? I think we go to the structure tab. We take the armored wall, the steel armored wall specifically. Are there any plasteel on this map? Because that could set us back. There is a lot of plasteel, but certainly not anywhere near as much as there is steel. We should probably use that to invest in autocannon turrets and stuff like that instead. So I think we take the steel armored wall, and I think we put that maybe like, shit, like three or four blocks thick, and we wrap it around the whole ship. Then, because I would be concerned about potentially drop pod raids popping in, because we can't exactly roof over a spaceship, right? I think we would probably put down uh, charge turrets, military tur turrets, something like that. And I mean, ultimately, we are here for 15 days, right? So we are going to need some sort of structure for our people to 
to sleep in, to hang out in for a little while. We don't need to make it massive. What else are we going to need to survive for 15 days? Uh, water treatment, water well, water pump. It would all be quite a nice combo. Hot water and then some sort of boiler as well, so they don't complain too much because we've got to keep them happy at the same time. There you go. And then some sort of water tower. We can lock all that in and keep it pretty compact. And if we do it like that, then we can get to all the important stuff to still repair it without anything being blocked. You see? It's big brain time. I'm going to cover that in a shitload of auto doors so that it will take a while for the enemies to get through if they do get that far. But we can go through it instantly, so that seems pretty good. You know what? I'll do the same thing like like over here. That's all good as well. I don't want to go nuts with the furniture usage. Couple of ergonomic beds. Keep them happy. We should really move the sleep accelerators over here as well. How many people do I want? How many people do we want to bring over? Because if we leave the city abandoned... Oh, God. Okay, it was a much better question. I'm going to build everything out of armored walls. Why the hell not? The bottom here will have a lovely bathroom. I don't want to go too hard on... We're not going to give them a bathtub, okay? They'll be there forever. They'll piss around too much. Not happening. Uh, toilet, bathroom, and then a basin. They'll keep them happy. Good enough to survive. And then I think externally we're going to have to go butt wild with... I think we need lower range turrets. I think it's the only thing that's going to keep us, keep us really alive here. Auto cannon turrets. There's a lot of mountains in the way, though, aren't there? Although we could use them to our advantage. If we throw down auto cannon turrets like back here, don't go too crazy with it. As long as the turret's minimum range is outside the other's uh, minimum range, then we're good. So if we do something like that, that turret can help the other one if it gets shot at. I'll do for the others. I'll put it a little further back. Oh, yeah, this is big brain time. Then we'll do the same on the other side as well. And everything's going to be fine. You'll see who is good at building. Because I'm going to need all the help we can get here. I'm going to leave the city unattended for a little while. Ah, oh, I guess we'll send everybody but Savannah and Doherty. No, because we need someone here to uh, recruit the prisoners. So we need to, at the very minimum, keep Savannah and I think Big Brain Kai. So let's send these three. Will, Linguini, and Banana. I'd have to send Banana on foot. You know what? We'll just send Will and Linguini for now. Here you go. Did I leave enough room to land the helicopter somewhere near the ship? No, but I probably should have in hindsight. That was my bad. Ah, there you go. Boom. No problem. Ah, hello there. I hope I didn't just accidentally have you recruit somebody who wasn't yet ready to be freed from mushroomdom. They're good. They're ready. And off we go. I mean, the important thing to know is that if things get a little rough, if things get a little scary, we should just leave. Okay? We can always find another spaceship. There's always another day. But if they, if they risk everything and get killed... That's it. And I'm not going to do that. I'm prepared to abandon this if we if we really, really have to. I mean, I don't want to, but I can. Did you almost crush the sensor cluster with Zazu? How could you do this to me? Oh, no. It's already damaged. Okay, we can fix it. That's not a problem. Mushrooms. Mushrooms? What is it? What are you fighting? Crocodile? Crocodile! Crocodile's damn trying try to stop us getting into space. <laughs> Whatever I just said. This is kind of cool. This person that we just recruited has two higher animal skill than our previous best animal handler. It'll help speed up things even more. How is the meal curing going? Uh, not well. Not well. Seems to be taking a long time. Meanwhile, thousands of miles away, they all seem to be doing pretty good. I did have to take apart just about every... Every mechanical thing on the map to try and scrounge up some components because there were barely any kicking around. Something we can sell later with a uh, helicopter right here and there. Oh, hello. Zeddy Industries, a combat supplier. Let's have a trade, see what you've got. Absolutely nothing. Though, apparently we've got ourselves a hyena. Hello. Besides the crocodile attack, everything's going pretty smoothly. Back at home base, the mushroom curing program's going pretty steadily. A lot slower than expected, given that I've had to swap Big Brain Kai over to meal crafting as well. But look at this. You will be ready in no time, my friends. The best part about them being in prison, too, is you could drop off a shitload of meals at once and just let them cook. They'll just sit there and slowly chow down and slowly cure themselves. Like, for example, right there. Carrying low dose cure meal times five. Are you about to eat five at once? Wait, hold on. What the fuck happens here? Hold on. Because they're massive. They have to eat more food than usual. Will this work? Hold on. Hold on. Any time now. Please, by all means, take take your time. Oh, shit. It didn't work. <laughs> no, no, it didn't work. No, it didn't work. It just ate three meals at once without any benefits. You son of a bitch. I mean, when Colossus Frame disappears or Gigantism, whatever's giving them the body size, in theory, they should just go back to eating one meal at a time. I, I do really like that as an accidental cool immersive mechanic. The tanks take so much more effort to try and cure because they've mutated a lot further than the regular ones, right? I almost can't believe it. I was concerned that the problem was the lack of plasteel, but it's not. It's, it's the lack of components. Are you good? Big old titties. 
I mean, yeah, you are a you are a tank. The trade caravan set up at the same time as a raid who tidied them up without me even bloody noticing. Amazing. Hey, Fabian, you don't fancy trading some components, do you? Uh, ten of them. Good enough. Good enough. Take some plasteel. I'm sorry that the episode's late today. We're running at an average of, like, 20 frames a second. Not even that anymore. Oh. Oh, <laughs> they are so doomed. Oh, we've got two new recruits. One of them have remembered they're a giant. Amazing. <laughs> no, now that you mention it, I am massive, aren't I? Amazing. That apparently lets them use oversized weapons. However, that helps us. I'm not entirely sure. Can you fuck off, Dordy? What the hell is wrong with you? Of all the things to light on fire as a pyromaniac, our turrets stopping us being eaten is definitely not one of them. You were fully cured, right? And you were fully cured. I'm just double checking. I have full confidence in my people. They all know what they're doing, but I couldn't help to, couldn't help to just make sure. Got some sort of implant there too. What is that? Oh, it's a uh, light receptor, right? Yeah, there you go. Oh, cool. And there's another one broken by Z. Thank you, Z. It is a bit slower going now that they're actually part of the enemy faction, part of the hive mind, rather than, rather than simply just more of the wild people. How are we getting on over here then? For some reason, they decided to build one half of the turrets and then not the other. I don't know why they've done that. That's so bizarre. I guess it just depends on how close it was to the... Oh! Fucking crocodiles. How close it was to the resources. But we did come under attack. Oh, shit. Double auto cannon. That one was from a charge SMG. God damn. This is the problem we're trying to focus on, like... Three different things at once. Keep an eye on this colony and the various different blah, blah, blah. Mainly the prison is the thing I'm watching right now. I'm just trying to make sure we've got the right meals going to the right people at the right times and making sure that everybody's recruited or being tamed. And then the people that we're actually getting are going to give armor or weapons. It was too much. It was too much. I've bitten off too much at once, but this is okay because we're, we're doing things. We're managing. Oh, shit. This person was the tank. Oh, shit. That's, that is cool that they're, they're kind of the last one to be fully cured. Working very much as intended. Please don't get into fights. She resents the conversion effort. Don't do that. So all of our new recruits, minus the people very good at handling and wardening. Who's our best warden right now? It's all Z. So I'm going to send everybody off but Z to go and join our reinforcements in that little settlement we set up. I've made sure they're all well armed because I assume if we call them in or when we call them in, most likely when we're about to launch the ship, that they will come down with whatever gear they've got, right? They'll just spawn in exactly as they are right now. These traders are so lovely and helpful. They must know that we've got something planned here. I mean, yeah, clearly. I've increased the amount of components I've wanted crafted at the base up to 35. So I'm going to send... Uh, oh, this is too much. I'm going to send you back in the helicopters to go grab some stuff for us. You know what? No, Tim is doing a good job shaving back these mountains. I'll send you two instead. And all of our new recruits are here. So we'll go ahead and slap those in the defense post. 10 points. And I can just hit that and hopefully send them anywhere. Shit, this could be, that could be the big game changer for defending this ship. That's awesome. Another one. Welcome, Kagami. A lot of people were very upset that Sheriff Lust got uh, what they thought was relegated to just being in an outpost somewhere. Sheriff Lust is in charge of a whole army at this point. I mean, there's got to be, what, 12 people over there, if not more? Ten pawns right now. I said Moth, McNasty, and Kagami. That's 13. How many more have we got lined up? Sanity loss is one... And the tank. Is the tank the tank's fully ready to go now? So two more to go. Oh, hello, bright green spaceship. How are you doing? And I think all of our defenses over here are I wouldn't say done, but more or less where I'm I'm happy with them being. Let's buy I doubt we'll need more steel, let's be honest. Let's go ahead and sell some crap. And no, I think we're good. I think we're good. Thank you. Thank you for the offer. Right, let's do that. Get some more stuff going. Try and build up a little silver for the next time another trade ship turns up. I'm building some barbed wire around the turrets themselves so that they can attack the embrasures, but they'll take damage if they do it. Really, we should barbed wire the entire wall. I mean, it's not as if we haven't got the steel to afford that, right? Oh, Yowler. Yowler was the tank. Hello. Finally, welcome. And another one. And stream as well. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Let me just double check that they are all completely clear. They should be. The problem with feeding the meals uh, piece by piece is you're effectively dismantling the Xenotype, but they do still keep the Xenotype icon. They're not. They're, they're just baseliners. Clearly, you can see that. But it just makes it a little harder to keep track of them. That's all. There we go. God damn. Killed so many people at this point. Oh, what a great job we've done. I mean, we've killed hundreds, but that was that was self-preservation to a point. 27 components left. I'm about to do uh, something that you call a real gamer move. We'll put down fire foam poppers everywhere, and I'm going to regret every second of it. What idiot put that there? Hey, with that, my God, I think they've done it. I think they've actually emptied out the entire prison. We haven't got any steel left on this map. So what I'm going to do is send, as soon as this is all finished, I, I, I felt like I should probably 
reinforce this a little bit. Seems like a kind of a weak point. We'll get this built up. We'll finish the final little bits and bobs. Then we'll launch a shitload of steel from this map back to the other one. Let's so, set up a shitload of steel, get back to the base, give them enough to hopefully make us a shitload of components. More importantly, make some weapons and some armor for the naked mushrooms we've just recruited. Then as soon as I can blast all these people over to one of the settlements, hopefully it'll help with my frame rate a little bit because this is totally unplayable. Tim and the goddamn demolisher, look at what he's done. I, I've tried to keep some tactical ones in place. Worst case scenario, we shoot it and, and, and kind of collapse the mountain on them. We've got to be careful we don't kill Tim and in the process. I wasn't originally going to remove this, but I think it wouldn't hurt. Because I mean, they're not exactly going to come from this angle, are they? Unless they drop pod. Well, you know what? Let's not take the damn risk. Get rid of all this shit too. Let's get it out the way and let's put some Careful uh, roof structures. Something like that, maybe. But let's clear all this shit out to try and... Oh, watch my power cables. Try and give ourselves as much area as possible to work with, like, the biggest vision going. The only thing they might do is sneak up on us from behind this part of the mountain, but that's just a side effect. That's just something we're going to have to worry about. Compacted... I didn't even think compacted machinery. Well, that would have been a shitload easier than deconstructing every broken down thing on the map. Fool. Oh, shit. Speak of the devil. Hello? Oh, Mushrooms! Mushrooms, mushrooms, mushrooms. Okay, okay, pull back. What the fuck are these turrets doing, bro? Oh my god, their range is not as good as I expected. I mean, when they get close enough, they're gonna get absolutely shredded, but that's not the point. Hey, stand back, though. Stand back, stand back, stand back. Well, the turrets do a lot of the heavy lifting. They should be pretty accurate, too. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Where did they come from? Damn, I wish I was looking at this map when I figured out... Ah, oh, look. Second, the geothermal generators. Okay, that's something we can deal with. We can just put a big old wall around that, and that should solve some issues. Just go and stop them. Hey, don't smash that. Piss off. If we do something like that, it might just be enough to deter them. Oh, look, there are some coming up here. What are you doing there, huh? Steel, steel armored wall all the way around. Let's trim a bit off this mountain, too. This is good testing. This is very, very good testing for when eventually we get into it. Oh, you know what might not hurt? Building like a... um. Building like something like this over here and slapping a turret freestanding. Just so that we can get a bit more vision on the places that otherwise we wouldn't be able to see. Like something like that would be good on the other side as well. So then we can see that little kind of crevice in the mountainside. Yeah, take that. Okay, well, let's shut this shit down though. The other thing I don't want to do is take so long here that we run out of resources. Like we have to keep topping these up, for example. That might that might just, might just kill us dead. We'll just kill us a little bit faster, you know? I'll find a nice middle ground between actually being defended and pissing around. Right now, I think we're a little bit on the pissing around side of things. Oh, my God. Hello. You're helping Timon. No, don't shoot them. They're helping Timon. You saw. All right. We know you're there. Come on now. Come on. Stop this shit. You're being ridiculous. I bring you the gift of clothes so that we no longer have to see this mushroom man's mushroom. Why is my game running slow? He says with 12 colonists. Okay, that's not quite as unreasonable as I thought now that I've... No, I've said that out loud. What do you mean we've got locust armor? Where? Where? I'm sick of seeing these naked people. Where's his locust armor? It's on the... What? It's there. <laughs> Someone must have had it in their pockets because that wasn't there a second ago. And with that, Sanity, put on the locust armor. With that, the people are well equipped. I've been making charge... Sorry, not charge. Chain shotguns for everybody because Sod wasting all those resources on... A load of charge weaponry for people that we're only going to see in an emergency. Besides, the chain shotguns kept us afloat. You remember, that? Banana was a stone cold killer with that chain shotgun, okay? Well, so we'll take this whole squad and we will ship them off to the defensive outpost where they are our, our, our top anti mushroom squad. We keep everyone else nice and safe. Timmons army, not that Timmons army probably needs keeping safe. Any other settlements that eventually get established. And the safest thing of all. My frame rate. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you for joining us. Let's keep Savannah. We keep Z because Z is absolutely under position here with all that amazing work that she's done. There's another ship. Look at this. Starting ship reactor. 3.6 days. I actually love that event. I love the idea that there are other people trying to get off this planet too. Just adds a nice little bit of a little extra story element there. That's fun. Makes the planet feel a bit more alive. So, without further ado, are we ready? Are we ready to launch this thing up? I mean, shit, we've got 14 double auto cannon turrets. We've got the military turrets, nine of them to fall back on if things go a bit awry. I mean, I, I can throw down more. Like, we've still got plenty of resources here, right? 8,000 steel left over. We used up a lot. In fact, a lot of that is what Timmons also mined up. What's our wealth looking like? Oh, uh, oh, that's a little bit, um, a little bit brave. It's a little bit brave. Tiny little bit of tidying up left to go, and then... I think we're ready to start the ship up. And then we look forward to the PowerPoint presentation that will be Mushroom Raiders for 15 fucking days. 
<laughs> if you thought this episode was slow, just you wait. It's about to get a whole lot better. Is there anything at this point obfuscating vision? Certainly doesn't look like it. I mean, to be fair, we can get rid of this, but obviously when we build this, we're not going to gain that much vision anyway. I think this is this is totally fine. Very acceptable. I, I mean, we could also throw down some more geothermal generators and just attach some turrets to it as a distraction or as... Because there are... Look, look, look. We've got plenty of places we could build it. What are you? Slave ship. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. This is taking years off my life, but my god, I think it's finally done. I think the game plan should be let's send back. Should we just leave Tim in here? He can have his own like luxury little place for a lot. Nah, I, I should I should send them all home. Let's send them all home. This place can very easily defend itself. If it can't defend itself in between now and when we start this generator up at the very beginning of tomorrow's episode, then clearly it wasn't good enough. Those can go back to the city in Zazu. Timon can walk because he needs the exercise. I, I guess when we start the ship engine up, we should probably send everybody, right? Or at least everybody capable of combat. Maybe Kai could stay in the city and we give it like a, a drop pod just in case of a really real emergency in case shit's really gonna kick off that way between six people capable of combat and the backup squad that we have out here on the planet i think we're gonna be fine I'm a little bit concerned especially at those tanks yep we could be in a lot of trouble what about the psychic lances whoa, whoa, whoa do we still have those what the hell where did they go those would have been a real ace in the hole but i guess we didn't pick them up or sold them at some point whatever doesn't really matter now i think we give our people a couple of days off i'm gonna give them nothing but non-stop recreation live your life and prepare because it's gonna be 15 days of battle right maybe we'll jump back here and put down like a couple more beds or something like that uh, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter massively oh, i was gonna suggest maybe going for like cataphract armor or something like that but i think what we'll do is in the final fight keep them at the front when the characters turn up or when we can finally see the mushrooms We'll have them rush over, run and gun, and then if we need to escape, we can always locust away. I don't think the heavy armor works, especially because, like, one hit from the aggression spores, even a bruise, is enough to put them out. You know what? Maybe, like, charge rifles. Maybe that would be a good investment. Something much more long range, because the SMGs are good, but the range is shitty. And they're, they're good in the city, right? Because... We're in the middle of a damn city. Where's your, where's your gun? I want to be able to see the radius here, fella. It's fine, but we could do a lot more damage with a much further range weapon. Uh, I might build a couple. I might build a couple. Oh. Shit. Oh, Timon. Oh, we are so back, Timon. <laughs> I don't think we've seen this one before, right? Prestige Kitin Frack Helmet. That is so cool. And to think he was wearing that chef's hat all along. Yeah, you know what? That's your problem. Live your life. Enjoy that. Hello? Nothing of any use. Come on. I just need like a few more... A few more little trinkets to help fight. Okay. Well, let's just get out then. I thought I couldn't hurt to fly some of these ancient dangers. Get a few more trinkets just to see if we can help make the final battle a little bit smoother. I think we'll be okay. A of charge rifles, a little bit of extra steel, some medicine, whatever. It's fine. Like the very basics. Psychic emanator. Actually kind of big brain to put over there. It's never the, the survival. It's never the actual combat that kills you. It's people breaking down. That's always the big problem with the 15 days of defense. We could just find like a shitload of gourmet meals and psychic emanators. Stuff to keep them comfortable and then set them on nothing but like recreation. Besides when occasionally we have to draft them up. That's the right play. I swear to God, if it gives us a climate adjuster at this point, I'll just retire. They're stuck on Mushroom Planet forever at that point. We could sit here for another five days and keep preparing everybody, but I just don't think it's necessary. I think it, it comes to a point where you could be a little over-prepared, huh? They've got, effectively, power armor and charge weapons. They don't need it. Timon got an upgrade. We got the Psyche Emanator. I think we load... I think we load everything up and send a caravan with the rest. Let's send the... Find desserts, let's send the lavish meals, keep moods high, let's send the gourmet meals as well. Enough rice and meat so they can cook their own. It's only gonna last 15 days, so this is definitely overkill. We're probably gonna need medicine. We're gonna send a good amount of steel and maybe some uranium. You know what, maybe uranium actually is as an emergency wall blocker, because it's gonna be as good as, well, it's gonna be much better than steel for, for building up those armored walls, right? And I think, I think we're good. Send the Psych Emanator, and that will be that. If anything happens, if there's anything urgent and we need to come back, I'll have Big Brain Kai stay here making some bionics or whatever else. We've got a spare eye and some other spare stuff here and there. The trade ship turns up. Kai can just deal with it. She's not got the best social, but that's fine. And we'll try and stockpile some stuff as a real emergency procedure when we're there, when we're fighting. Honestly, I think the biggest concern is if they raid the city while we're defending the ship. 
Because we've got we've got a lot of turrets here, right? But a big raid or like a drop pod raid would be a disaster. Say goodbye to your loved ones. Say goodbye to your home. It's very possible that not everyone will make it back. This is going to be the hardest fight we've had. This is going to be the most desperate fight for survival. We don't have an enormous city. We don't have big thick vault walls or anything like that anymore. We have a few turrets and then a three block thick armored wall. If we fail at the, at the very minimum, it means that everybody stays on this planet. No happy endings. Nobody gets to escape. If uh, at the very worst everybody dies and then it will finally be the big brain kai show of my hopes and dreams we're gonna have to find a reliable way to get some components going whether or not we want to use the, the remaining components and steel and advanced components to build a fabrication bench i think that would be quite a sensible idea where i'm gonna put it i haven't decided quite yet and with that i think we have everything we need for total self-sufficiency over the next 15 days this is gonna suck this is going to be awful. I'm going to keep them happy. I'm going to keep them on a non-stop recreation schedule. And I'm just going to hope that they don't break down before we can get this ship going. Thank you all for joining me. Tomorrow will be our final excursion in Mushroom Planet. And then, like I said, there's always very much potential for a sequel series. I think it's probably inevitable because I really like this scenario. Maybe some of our characters stay behind in there in that follow-up series. Maybe not. I'm not entirely sure. Who's going to launch into space? I'm going to have a think gonna have a think and decide whose stories who, who would want to leave more importantly but which stories line up I and mean, i think the next 15 days might change that anyway so in the meantime a thank you to methanius mill bryce ramaman 138 evan crocker mythomatic nuanced fart like and lover somber apoc mr irrelevant sign swiper josh lunt erica and todd howard as well for their spot the executive produced tears over on patreon and of course christine jahihi pinky r man Garrett Thorstad, Kathleen Boyer, Jason Ganser, Snake Farts, Fungus Cho, Dorian, Corrupt Racer, Dorathus, Mr. Yeti, Lassero, and Stormcrower. And I shall see you all then. To die. We're probably all going to die horribly.